Hi, and welcome to a tutorial on areas and perimeters today. Now in front of us, we've got three shapes that each have uh, equal widths and lengths. For instance, we've got a height here or, or a length of three centimeters and a width of three, six by six and a four by four, which means that if all the sides are the same, they're quadrilaterals, four-sided shapes, they must all be squares. Okay, can you spot which has an area of 36 centimeters squared, first of all? Okay, which one do you think it would be? If you thought B, then you're correct, because the area of a square is the length times by the width, which in this case would be six, six centimeters multiplied by six centimeters or 36 centimeters squared, okay? With that in mind, we could then look at this one, okay? So again, the area is the length times by the width. In this case, three centimeters times three centimeters or nine centimeters squared. Okay, and over here, same thing, area is length times width. What would it be? It would be four by four, which is 16 centimeters squared, okay? And you'll notice all three of these numbers are special in that they are all square numbers. And that's where that label comes from. Okay, the, 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 they can be the values of the areas of squares. Okay, over the page then, we've got now different shapes. Now you'll notice that their lengths and widths are not equal, okay? But it's actually the same area formula. So the area, again, is length times width. In this case, it would be seven times three. Now seven times three, is equal to 21, 21 centimeters squared. And what, was it, what would its perimeter be? Now the perimeter is the length of the outside of the shape. So imagine that I started here and I walked all the way around the shape, okay? I was really tiny because it's in centimeters. How far would I have walked? Okay, well, first of all, seven centimeters. I could write this down, but seven. Then I've got three, then I've got another seven, then I've got another three. We basically add up the lengths of all the sides. So this would give us seven plus seven is 14, six plus six is, uh, sorry, three plus three is six, 14 plus six is 20 centimeters for the perimeter. Let's have a look at this one. Five times four, okay, nice and easy for the area, length times width. Five times four is 20 centimeters squared. Okay, it's not working here. And then the perimeter, what would the perimeter be? The perimeter would be um, adding up all the sides, we have five and five and four and four. Five plus five plus four plus four equals, I think, 18 centimeters. Okay, so nice and straightforward again. Now with those in mind, we can get a bit more complicated and be presented with a shape such as this one. Now all you need to remember is that this is actually just um, a series of squares and rectangles stuck together. Okay, so we could actually divide it up. We might like to divide it that way, or the way that's sort of jumping out to me more is this way. Doesn't really matter. Okay, so I could either divide it up like that, or just to demonstrate, oops, I could divide it up like that. Okay. All right, and you can see here I've got three rectangles. I'll just stick to this one, seeing as I've got those dotted lines in now. So this first rectangle has a length of seven and a width of three. Okay, so seven times three equals 21 centimeters squared. This one here is three, but then we need to think a little bit more about what its... Um, what its um, width is here. Okay, well, actually we've got the squares to help us, haven't we? Because if this is seven, let's just check three, five, six, seven, yeah, let's just count the squares. So this is two and this is three. So this would be two times three, which is six centimeters squared. And then the area of this one, you can see it's just marked out for us six by three. So six times three is 18 centimeters squared. Okay, so now I've got the areas of those three rectangles, um, then the area of the whole thing would be 21 centimeters squared plus six centimeters squared plus 18 centimeters squared. It's the total area. And that would be, um, I think, 45 
centimeters squared. Let me think about that again. Yes, I think it is. Okay, so 45 centimeters squared. Now, if I'd have divided it up the same, you know, the, the way that I originally was thinking, okay, that would give me exactly the same um, answer. All right, next one. What about this one then? So this time we haven't got the squares. So we have to think about how we might divide this up. Now, we've got two options. We could either divide it up like that, or we could divide it up like that. Doesn't really matter. We'll stick to that one, seeing as it's there. So this one, three by six, really easy to see, first of all, we've got three times six, which is 18 centimeters squared. And then if this is three, and this is seven centimeters, what would this level be here? Okay, so we've got to think about that. What do we have to add to three, which would be this length here, to make it up to a total of seven? So sometimes we have to be thinking outside the box a little bit. And this would, of course, be four, because four plus three equals seven. Okay, so this rectangle here has actually got a, a length of four and a width of two. So four times two here is eight centimeters squared. So the overall area here is going to be 18 plus eight, which equals 26 centimeters squared. Okay, last thing to cover in this tutorial is that um, I would like to have a look at this shape, a triangle, okay? And how would we find the area of this one? Now, it's quite helpful that first of all, we're looking at the whole shape here, including the dotted lines, because what we've got, you know, we've just been talking about rectangles, haven't we? And if we wanted to find the area of this whole rectangle, we would, of course, do six by four. But we don't want the whole rectangle. We only want this part. And what proportion of that is, what proportion of the whole rectangle is that triangle? I hope you can see it's been divided right down the middle that by that diagonal. So therefore, it's a half of the original rectangle area. So if we do six times four and then half it, that's going to give us the area of the triangle. It's half of the rectangle, isn't it? So that's 24 divided by two, which is 12 centimeters squared. Now the area formula that what we've basically just done is we've done the base times by the height and divided it by two. And that's just what we need to remember always works. Sometimes they don't look particularly like they're, they're half of a rectangle, but it does basically, it works out every time, as long as it's a triangle, okay? Let's look at another example. We're going to use the same formula for the next one. So again, area equals base times by height divided by two. Now in this case, what's the base? The base length is five centimeters. What's the height? The height is four centimeters. Okay, and then we're gonna divide it by two. So it's 20 divided by two, which is 10 centimeters squared. Okay, now some people like to think of that as being the height, but it's not the height, that's the slant height, okay? What I'm looking for is the straight up height, the, the perpendicular height, we call it. Okay, not the slant height. Okay, in which in this case, it would be the four. It's going from, you know, it's the highest, from the base to the highest point of the triangle. And in that case, it's four. Okay, and last one. Okay, so you can see here, the area, again, because it's a triangle, is going to be base times by height divided by two. What's the base? Okay, now it is a bit more of a, an odd looking triangle. Um, definitely doesn't look really like half of a rectangle. Here's the base, it's four centimeters. Here's the height, okay, perpendicular, the straight vertical height as, as opposed to the horizontal base. Okay, so what we've got is four times by seven divided by two, which is 28 divided by two, which is 14 centimeters squared. We're working in, in centimeters for the length and its area now, so it's centimeters squared. Okay, all right, and I think that brings us to the end, yeah. Okay, so I hope that that's been a nice revision of the main um, elements of that topic, areas and perimeters. And I hope that you get on well with the work now. Good luck.